Hey everybody, it's Scully. Um, so yeah, I contemplated talking about this, but um, I had talked about in one of my videos how a while back I started kind of questioning um, some things about my gender identity. Um, ever since I made that video, I was kind of hesitant to go deeper into that because it's something that, um, it's kind of a big topic that a lot of people don't always like to talk about and it's just it's just complicated I guess so um but I kind of wanted to talk about it more in this video as I had been experiencing some dysphoria lately I wanted to discuss that a little bit more so um I thought it would be easier to kind of talk about it from my own personal experience because I know that what somebody else with dysphoria may be feeling might be different than what I experience and this is something that I'm still kind of new to, so I don't want to, I don't want to invalidate anybody else's experience um, by talking about dysphoria because I, truthfully, I'm just, I'm not, I'm, I'm probably just not as um, knowledgeable about the topic as other people are, so I felt it was best to just kind of talk about it from my own personal experience rather than kind of painting everybody with the same brush, so to speak. So, um... In my case, uh, I came out as non-binary last year. Whether or not this is something that I've always had, I'm still not sure. It's just so complicated because when I think of myself as a kid, I always want to call myself little girl, but I don't know. Maybe this has been here longer than I thought and maybe I was never aware of it until I was older. But it's just interesting how I grew up feeling very feminine. You know, puberty was very exciting for me. I f it felt very gender affirming at the time, just seeing my body change into what I thought was a young woman. And now that I'm older, I I can't help but look at my body a little differently now. Oh, all in all, I feel very blessed because um, I still love my body the way it is. I still feel like that I was blessed with a lot of qualities that not everybody has. You know, I I'm. I don't feel like I'm as picky about some of the things in my body as somebody else might be. But if I do have days where I feel more dysphoric, it's usually on my days that I feel more masculine. Because on my feminine days, I feel like that everything, you know, everything matches pretty well since I, you know, am female presenting. So, you know, I you know can put on some makeup, feel pretty confident, like the way I look, like my hair, you know, clothing that accents me usually goes pretty well. But on days that I feel more masculine, it just feels a little bit more complicated because I, I can't change the way my body looks on those days. I have what I have. There's no changing it. I mean, there's some things I can do to make myself feel more confident, perhaps. But, you know, like I feel like on my more feminine day uh, days, I, um, I didn't really want to talk about my breasts all that much, but it is... A part of my body that I have you know obviously on my feminine days those aren't so so bad I like them most of the time make clothing look nice they're there it is what it is but on my, my more masculine leaning day sometimes I do kind of feel like they get in the way a little bit and sometimes I just wish I had you know parts of my body that seemed more masculine on my more masculine days and again I'm stuck with what I have I can't change it so I kind of feel like that the best thing I can do on those days is to just try to find clothing that makes me feel more confident, makes me seem more masculine. I mean, I have no desire to be on hormones. I have no desire to get surgery or anything like that. But sometimes it does get very frustrating to have days where, you know, I look in the mirror and see one thing and my heart tells me something else. And again, I can't change it. I have what I have. It's just the way it is. So ever since I kind of started going through some of this, it did start to make me feel a lot more sympathetic as to what other people go through because I still feel like that whatever it is I'm dealing with is on a more, it's on the more lower end of the spectrum than it is for probably somebody else. So I still kind of feel like, you know, like I said, my body seems to match me most of the time, but I still have days where maybe it doesn't entirely um, 
I think everybody to some degree has parts of their body that they aren't super happy with or that they wish that they could change. But I feel like when it comes to things like your gender identity, it just, it's kind of maybe the more area of focus more so than it might be for somebody else. And I don't know what it's like for somebody who's transitioning or anything because that's not something that I have any experience with. But for me, I just personally feel like it's a coin where I'm masculine on one side and feminine on the other. And I feel like the coin flips. And on some days I feel feminine. And on some days I feel masculine. Some days I may even feel like both. And it's just something I never really felt like I dealt with very much when I was younger. At least not to that extent. I just never really put a whole lot of thought into it until I got older. So it's just something that I'm still trying to figure out. I don't know where all this came from. But I feel that because I started dealing with something like this, I felt like if I started talking about it, maybe that would open the doorway to, you know, kind of get other people to talk about it and to share their experiences. And heck, I could even learn from some of these people that have more experience than I do. So, sorry if this video is kind of random. I just, it's just something I've been dealing with lately. And... Um, I don't really know, again, what's causing all of it. Supposedly, I may have a pituitary tumor. I don't know if that's what's been causing some of what I've been dealing with. And it's not to take away from anybody else's experience. Because, again, somebody's going to be dealing with this differently than I am. And they may be dealing with it for different reasons than I am. So, that's why I wanted to kind of just share from a, more from my personal perspective. So, I don't, I don't want to take it away from somebody else because... Just because I may deal with this one way doesn't mean it's the only way to deal with it. I mean, people have different ways of dealing with anything in life, and this is just simply my take on it. So, I mean, if you are dealing with similar issues, don't give yourself a hard time for being for feeling confused or feeling different on different days. And if you feel weird because maybe... Maybe you're not always happy with the way you look. Maybe you're not always happy with your body. I mean, you're allowed to feel that way. You're allowed to look at yourself and notice your imperfections. But your body is also yours, and you have a right to feel comfortable in it as you see fit. So even though it, it may be easy for you to look at things you don't like about yourself, try to focus on some of the things you do like about yourself, because there, there are qualities there for you to like, even if you haven't found them yet. Sometimes I think that as people, we become too focused on the negatives that we don't think about the positives enough. And it's easy to, to, to get lost in that and to kind of forget what makes us us. And, you know, especially if you compare yourself to other people, which I've also made a video about. I mean, everybody does that to some degree, but don't let it get the best of you because there's other things about people out there that you don't always know about either. And just because they don't show it doesn't mean that there aren't things, you know, that they don't like about themselves as well. I mean, nobody's perfect. So, until next time, have a great day, guys.